Hi everyone, welcome to the YMCA of San Francisco Classrooms for All. My name is Angela and today we are moving our bodies because we are pretty much stuck at home <laughs> uh, doing a lot of homework, doing a lot of class assignments and basically doing a lot of things in front of our computers and our iPads and our, you know, our technological devices, right? So we have to move our bodies if we want to continue staying healthy and fit. So we're going to start off with our most famous, infamous exercise, head, shoulders, knees, and toes. Yes, we're going to try that 10 times. Ready with me? Head, shoulders, knees, and toes, knees, and toes. Head, shoulder, knees, and toes, knees, and toes. Head, shoulders, 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 knees, and toes, knees, and toes. Can you do it any faster, any faster? <laughs> Again, head, shoulders, knees, and toes, the toes. Head, shoulders, knees, and toes, knees, and toes. One more time. Shoulder, knees, and toes, knees, and toes. Last time. Head, shoulders, knees, and toes, knees, and toes. Take a big breath in. Reach those arms up. Oh, let's take a nice little stretch here. I know that was a little bit hard for some of us. Let's bend to the right side or to the left side, whichever side feels good for you right now. And bring it up. And a little bend to the other side. Oh. Yeah, we got to open up all those sides. Awesome. All right. Now, let's go ahead into a jumping star. Arms are going to be out. Yes. <laughs> it's like a jumping jacks, but we want to pretend we're jumping stars. So from here, guess what? We're going to take in and out, in and out, and in and up. That's it. You got it. Now, let's get a total of 25. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four. 25. Oh my God. What was I thinking? 25 is big. All right. <laughs> We're going to do twisting stars or folding twisting stars. We're going to reach our hands to our feet. Take it from one end over and towards the other. That's it. Right hand, left foot, left hand, right foot. <sighs> Alternating. Good. Now let's get 10 more here. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, I know my head is going crazy, 3, 2, and 1. Good job, guys. Folding star, hold it down. I'm going to time you here, relax your shoulders, let your head rest heavy. Whee! Woo! Whee! Oh, woo! <laughs> All right, roll it up slowly. Now from here, we are going to skip around. If you have space to skip around, guess what? We're going to do a skip, 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 over and over, other way. Good. Skip around, skip around, everybody jump, 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 everybody skip, skip, skip. Good. If you don't have the space to skip, you're going to skip in place, like so. Yeah. Good. Let's get 10 more. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, Three, two, one. Oh my gosh. All right. Let's open up our feet again. This time we're going to turn one leg to one side and we're going to reach the arms out. <sighs> Take a breath, catch your breath. 
And then from here, we're gonna reach like someone's playing tug of war with us and slowly lower the hand down. Come to bend sideways, holding a triangle pose here. <sighs> Can your arms be long and straight? Can you open up the shoulders and rib cage? Now, we're gonna bring that triangle pose and reach the top arm over the head, stretching a little bit more through the sides of our bodies. You got it. Oh yeah. And then let's do that back up. Bring it up all the way. Turn that foot in, turn the other foot out. Make sure the heel is in line with the center of your other leg, of your other foot. Arms are out, tug of war. We're going to reach into that same direction that our toes are facing. Good, good, good. And then slowly lower down, come to triangle pose, reach that arm up, lift the chest, lift the rib cage, and feel that big opening at the sides of your body there. Great work, hold it. Now take that folding star, I'm sorry, not folding star, folding triangle, and reach that arm up and over. Take a nice long stretch here. Oh yeah. Ah! <laughs> it might feel challenging for some of us. It's okay. Hold it, hold it. Excellent, bring it back up. Oh, and bring it back out. Excellent. Now bring your feet back together. We're gonna jog in place for 30 seconds. Ready and go. Jog in place. You can also jog around if you have this space. <sighs> jog around, jog around. <sighs> oh yeah. <sighs> you can, if you have your siblings around you, maybe you race each other, see who runs faster, but be careful, don't hurt yourself. <laughs> Eight more seconds. Come on. Five, four, three, two, one. Oh, reach the arms up. Good. That wasn't too shabby, was it? I hope not. <laughs> All right, we're going to take it to the ground. You have a challenge here. We are going to try to get down 10 push-ups. Let's see how strong you are, but strength doesn't determine just how many you get. It determines your posture as well. Make sure your posture is good. So we're going to come into a plank position. You can lower the knees if you think you need a little bit of support today, and that's okay. All right, or you can keep the knees off the ground. Hands come really wide. And we're gonna take it down and up for eight, but be careful, we're not working with the hips, okay? The hips are not doing the push-up here. It's your arms bending 90 degrees and pushing right back up. Ready, let's go for 10. And push, nine. And push, eight and push, seven, you've got to bring your body with you, six, and push, five, and push, four, good, keep it up, three, and push, two, and one, great work, guys, Woo! take it to downward facing dog, hands, stay as wide as your shoulders, and we're going to just rest here, in a downward facing dog. That was hard. I hope you were able to get them done right back at home. Woo! All right, now switch climbers. We're going to bring one foot up in front of you, like so in a lunge, and we're gonna take it back, and we're going to do that again. Now, if you have a little more energy, those switch climbers are gonna happen immediately, so simultaneously. Like so, one, two, three, four, yes? Let's do that, ready, together for 10, we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. Good job, guys. Bring it down to the ground, and let's do bridges here. We're gonna lay down. If you have a mat, go ahead, pull out your mat. But if not, that's okay. Carpet or hardwood floor surface is great. We're gonna lift those hips up, squeeze those shoulders down to the ground, and take it down. Let's do that 10 times, here we go. Up, 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, 
two, and then one more. Good job, guys. Bring your knees to your chest, stretch it out. <sighs> Just stretching out your lower back, that's all. All right, we're gonna rock forward and down, or forward and back. Rocking forward and up, forward and down. Good. Let's do that two more times. And come to a seated position. Great work here, you guys. You've done a fabulous job. Um, let's do one more little stretch. It's just side bending. We've been doing these side bendings a lot um, in the beginning of class. We're just gonna have your arms rested out beside you. Right arm goes up. Take a little reach. Good. And then take it down. Let's do that with the other arm. Going up and over. Little bend, little reach, and take it down. Great work. Now your arms in front of you, I want you to round your back, round your shoulders, and then take it up, kind of like a ballerina with the arms over the head. And then do that again, forward, push your shoulder blades back, reach your arms forward and your shoulders forward, and then bring it up. Deep breath in, and deep breath out. Awesome. This was so much fun, especially getting my hair all messy with you today, jumping around, doing those jumping stars. I hope you enjoyed class. Um, if you ever find yourself that you're a little stiff because you're working a lot in front of your computer, come back to this video. This is gonna be very helpful just to get you moving a little bit, get your heart rate up. You can do this once or twice a day. Also, don't forget to uh, check out our website for more content related uh, as fitness and yoga and anything else that you can find on there, ymcasf.org, Classrooms for All, or our YouTube channel, YMCA of SF. Um, this is amazing time, guys. Thank you so much for joining me today. I hope you enjoyed class. Remember, choose to be active and stay healthy. Have a great day. Bye. Did you know that YMCA of San Francisco never closed? When shelter in place happened, we could no longer provide in-person programming. We quickly shifted to provide youth and family programming virtually. As early as April, we started providing on-demand activities in our YMCA of San Francisco YouTube channel. For this video, we're going to be making a geodesic dome. Today, we're going to be making a hovercraft. The science around this activity is really awesome. In addition, we have a regular schedule of activities for our youth and families to join live. We feature read-alouds, yoga, family Zumba, arts and crafts, drawing clubs, and more. So don't miss out on our virtual youth and family offerings. Visit www.ymcasf.org for more info and class schedules.